Hi everyone, this is Lala from TheRainQueen.com. Today is an orchid haul video. I've just come from the Northern Gauteng Orchid Society's Autumn Show here in Pretoria, the capital city in South Africa. I'd like to show you what I got for myself and I will also show you some beautiful sights from the show this morning. So the first two orchids that I got are um, Dendrobium phalaenopsis. These are the hard cane dendrobiums. These are unnamed hybrids, both very gorgeous. I already have an Enobi purple splash, which is kind of like a reverse of this one that you see in the middle, but the splashes are more pronounced. This one I think is so beautiful as well, and the markings are coming from the middle of the orchid. I'm gonna go in a little bit closer. Look at that beautiful, beautiful um, color marking and all that gorgeous purple and white. Now over here is another Dendrobium phalaenopsis, but this is still about to open. I decided to get one that wasn't fully open yet so that I can have a show for a little while longer. So you can see all those buds that still have to open. I think a couple did open before I bought it, but they were taken off. Um, but this is more or less a pink one. Pretty plain, but still a beautiful plant and a gorgeous orchid. Um, I had to repot this one because when we were driving in the car on the way home, it popped out of its pot and it had that, um, I guess it's peat, that peat that they have them in when they're seedlings. And then when they repot it into the bigger one, they often don't remove the peat and then they just pack more media around that original plug. So that was very visible and I decided to just take it off and repot it. I hope the orchid will do well because it's not recommended that you repot while they are flowering. Um, conditions are pretty good and I'm gonna keep it in the house so it'll be relatively warm. So um, I hope the rest of these buds don't blast. I've got two canes that are flowering and this one is flowering on two spikes. Look at that. So this is the first spike that's um, two spikes on this cane actually. And then on the second cane are more flower buds that are going to, to bloom for me, hopefully. So this is the first Dendrobium phalaenopsis. And this is the other one. Both of them, as I said, unnamed hybrids. Um, this is what the tag is saying. Dendrobium, nothing else. Uh, I guess those are supposed to be a legend of care instructions or something. Okay, um, so this over here is Oncidium Twinkle, if I can get this to focus. We've got Oncidium Twinkle over here and it has also yet to flower. I bought an Oncidium Twinkle last year that is in terrible shape. I was still new to orchids, I didn't know the conditions that it liked. It got dry and then it was overwatered. It was just a lot of drama. So it's still alive. It made a lot of new growths, but it's not doing so hot and I'm definitely not going to get flowers from it anytime soon. But what I have here is a new twinkle that has got a massive new spikes. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine flowering spikes and this is actually one of the smaller plants that this grower has this is um sawas d orchids they are located in kailami in the north of um johannesburg this dendrobium the first dendrobium phalaenopsis this unopened one is from sawas d um and the second dendrobium phalaenopsis is from g and s orchids in pretoria they um have a location near the Atterbury Valley Mart near Menland Mall, if you know the area. So that's the, um, the origin of those orchids or uh, the location where you can buy them in South Africa. And then I got two more Cymbidiums from um, Orchidology from Paul in Orchidology. This is a gorgeous red one and I did not see a tag here. So unfortunately I can't tell you what the name of the Cymbidium is but it's really gorgeous. It's got a nice thick substance to these flowers. It's currently only got four flowers on. It's, a, it's still a baby plant, but um, 
let me see how many bulbs do we have it looks like five bulbs um, on that plant and four gorgeous flowers so the two here and two at the back it just looks stunning and I must say Paul's um, orchids are quite affordable if you get the baby plants instead of the big specimen plants the cymbidium cost me 180 and the second one is 170 he did have others that were um, 150 for the smaller ones so this is a pink one also from orchidology and this one has a whole lot of flowers two four six eight um, it's really not a huge amount of flowers but for a, a little plant this size I'm very happy with it and gorgeous gorgeous color as well a lovely pink a lovely rich dusty pink okay and the last plant that I got is something that I saw a video of from Maria of MY Orchids my orchid adventures Maria thank you so much for recommending this in your video about the easiest orchid to grow that should be in anyone's collection so this is Maxillariella tenrifolia I hope I pronounced that correctly I got this one from Plante Orchids which is that orchid nursery in the north of um, of South Africa and Northwest Province and this beautiful orchid is in full flower and of course it is famous for its ease of growing as well as its gorgeous coconut scent this orchid smells like coconut pie or cocoa butter I'm a, a natural hair aficionado I like to think and a lot of my products are either shea butter or cocoa butter and I cannot deny that this orchid smells like um, cocoa butter it's really really gorgeous and it's got these beautiful plump pseudobulbs a lot of the Oncidiums have got flat pseudobulbs um, if you're familiar with Sherry Baby and Oncidium Sphacillatum and so on they've got more of a flat pseudobulb these pseudobulbs are like little apples look at it very very nice shape um, and this is such a healthy plant it's in full bloom and it's also got a lot of new growths look at that all right, so that is it from the orchids that I have here in my home, bought from the Northern Gauteng Orchid Society Autumn Show. And we will now go into the videos of the actual orchid show. Please enjoy and remember to like, comment and subscribe for more.